Hey everybody, this is Naomi here again. Um, I'm just doing this quick video because I had a request for how I make these trees. And honestly, I just figured it out today, so I'm really not any kind of expert. Um, I'm sure there are a lot of tutorials out there on YouTube and everywhere on how to do really good trees. These are just the way I learned how to do them today, just by trial and error. And um, so anyway, for what it's worth, I'll just share it in case it's helpful to anybody. Um, if anybody else has any tips, um, please leave them in the comments below because we are all learning from each other and I can learn something new every single day. So anyway, my weapon, uh, what do you call it, magic weapon, <laughs> is this silver brush round number four and it is gorgeously pointed. I don't know if you can see this, but the point on it is, sorry about the focusing here, the point is just needle sharp on here, and that is how I get all this detail. So the way I do it, and I've got a mix here of just, I think this is Quinn Violet, this is Daniel Smith, um, Quinacridone Violet mixed with uh, Thalo Blue, green shade, and then I just mix them up, and then I've got several different mixes here going on. But anyway, this is the one I'm gonna use right now. And what I have done is I just sort of, I'm going to show you how I get my brush loaded. So I roll it in here till it's completely soaked, completely full. And then I'm just going to wipe it off so I get as much pigment off the brush as I can. And I don't really want any big moisture blobs on there. I just want to get all that pigment off so it's just nice and sharp and pretty dry, really. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm apologizing. Everything is shaky because I'm just not used to filming yet and I don't have a tripod. But you can see that I get a really nice needle sharp straight line with the tip of this brush. I'm just outlining my trunk and I don't really have a plan to let that show too much. Okay, then I'm going to take the top of the tree and I just kind of make like a little V. Or a little Y shape because a lot of pine trees have that top branch sticking out and then two that kind of fork outward and I just kind of do a few like that it's not going to be as good as the top one probably because I am holding my phone but then I'm going a little bit bigger on either side and I'll start to add some feathery things to the side branches as I go and I'll make a little wider one and now I'm going to just add some just feathery stuff Honestly, you guys, I'm just scribbling. I don't really have I don't really have a tutorial. <laughs> it's just what I have been doing. I I did this today for the first time and I liked how it looked. And so there you go. It's just a little bit of feathery who knows what. And by the end, it just kind of all came together. I did, I do think, I don't care so much when I'm doing this about what happens, sorry, I was totally out of frame. Okay, let's let the camera refocus right here. I don't really care so much about what happens right here in the middle because as you can see, it just kind of becomes darker and thicker in the middle toward the trunk. What I think is the most important is these details out here at the end. That pointiness on the ends of the branches is what really kind of shows what you're doing. So I'm going to go ahead and roll my brush again and wipe off most of the paint. So the brush is wet but not dripping. In fact, there are no, no big active blobs at all. And then I'm going to come back here and do a little bit of a wider stroke because the trees get wider as they go out. We know that. And then I'm just going to kind of just keep feathering in my stuff here. And if the brush is a little bit dry, that actually helps because then you get some skipping and you you get some kind of dry, feathery detail there. And that's really it. So I don't think this was the very best tutorial because I am, again, trying to look over the side of my phone while I'm doing this one-handed. But uh, I hope you just get the general idea. And anyway, that's how that goes. What I used to do until today <laughs> is I would kind of just do a straight line and then I would try to do just kind of some sort of zigzaggy stuff. 
just zigzagging, which is fine, but on mine, it was ending up kind of looking actually zigzaggy after a while, as you can see here, and it just didn't have that realistic detailed look that I was going for. So sorry, this is long and shaky and out of focus and all that, but I hope it helps somebody. And again, please comment with any of your tips below because that would be helpful to me too. Thanks. Bye-bye.